What does it take to destroy a facility 200 feet underground? Meet the GBU-57, also known as the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, or MOP. This isn't just a bomb. It's the most powerful conventional earth-penetrating weapon in the U.S. arsenal. Weighing a staggering 30,000 pounds, roughly the size of a city bus, the GBU-57 packs over 5,300 pounds of high explosives. Its purpose is singular, to obliterate hard and deeply buried targets like command centers, WMD facilities, and nuclear sites, often hidden beneath layers of rock and reinforced concrete. Dropped from high altitude, its immense mass and specialized high-strength steel casing transform it into a kinetic dart. It can punch through an estimated 200 feet of reinforced concrete or 130 feet of solid rock. A sophisticated smart fuse then allows it to detonate precisely after reaching a specific depth or detecting a void, ensuring maximum destructive power where it counts. Only the stealthy B-2 Spirit Bomber can carry and deploy this behemoth, delivering two GBU-57s per mission, crucial for reaching the most heavily defended targets. It's a strategic asset designed to counter nations like Iran and North Korea, sending a clear message, there's no place to hide. And no, it's not the MOAB. While the MOAB is designed for massive surface airbursts, the GBU-57 is a surgical penetrator, concentrating its energy deep underground. The MOAB is a sledgehammer for the surface. The MOP is an armor-piercing round for the deepest bunkers. The GBU-57 stands alone as the ultimate conventional solution for extreme underground threats.